drop the puck tonight. Play ready to resume. 
soon as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Anaheim's won the draw. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Let's it go! And he's got that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Was good at covering the net and making himself look as big as possible while down in the butterfly position, guys. That's his butterfly effect, zone ability, and it's what helps him come up with the big stops. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Denies him! Oh, he's known for that one-timer. I mean, the puck has moved around to be able to get it to him. He unloads, but the goaltender reads it and makes the save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Silverberg's got it now deep inside his own end. Sends the pass over. And that's broken up. And now he tries to get it across to Ernie. Sends a pass over. Oh, it goes right off the post. I like the habits and the shot selection right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe, doesn't go in the four by six, and now they're chasing the game. And that play's neutralized. Ross gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's all tied up. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. And it's a quick pass to Brown. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Quick pass across to Kane. Big play inside the defensive zone. And some textbook body contact there. Pushes it across to Enron. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Moves it to Eckhol. Uses the force on that hit. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Chance in front. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a feed in front. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Here comes the call. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. The Oilers are in transition. The Ducks get a hold of the puck under man. Picking up some steam at center ice. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Good stand-up hit on the play. Too much traffic in the lane. And he takes the feed. And he makes a save, and that has some success on that one. Denies him again. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Conway is dangerous when he's in by himself because he's so good when it's just him and the goalie, guys. His all alone zone ability makes him so exciting to watch when it comes to breakaways and penalty shots. Tries to get the puck to Niedermeyer. Down the left wing, they came the zone. And the puck skips away after that move. Conway's close to finding a hole there, and it's an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. The Ducks gain possession of the defensive zone. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. 
Here's a chance! And the puck dies with the trapper save. McDavid's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. McDavid's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Anaheim's got the win off that draw. Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Oak slides into the face-off gun, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. The Ducks have possession shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Herman's not been ready to get back on the ice. It's a two-on-one. Oh, it's stopped. Oh, my goodness, what a save. Now a quick pass to Kalorn. The Ducks gain the zone. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Silverberg. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Silverberg's going off for interference. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Can't get frustrated with their power play. Stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. Oh, it stays out. We got a piece of that one. Oh, and another quick stop. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Janmark's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Makes the save on the slapper. There's another stop. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Conway's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Anaheim's taking possession in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Conway. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Reaches out and uses the stick. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Handles the pass. Misses a golden opportunity there. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Trying to get it out of danger. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Hyman's carrying it ahead. Good hit on the play. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gets in front of the shot. They get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers will have one last chance to move the puck up here on this power play. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. The Oilers play it along the boards. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. McDavid set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Edmonton's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. 
Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. The Ducks kill off the penalty. Got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit. I really like what this PK unit has done, and James, in my experience, I know what it's like. To Big save just as time runs out. First period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Lugging the puck. Here's a chance on the attack. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a shot. There's the whistle as the net comes off. The Oilers have been generating a lot of pucks on net, but they still trail here in the second. The Ducks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Man, is he ever known for this. When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as possible. So tough to beat because there is no net available. The Ducks take it across the line. Here's a short pass to Leach. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. He's got a step. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you got in the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Quick shot! And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Quick pass to Brown. Off target! The Ducks have it against the wall. Oh, look at it. in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 
We got a tie game. Anaheim's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Center feed, and it's blocked. Janmark's swooping in on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Silverberg. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Officials are set, players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Anaheim's won the faceoff at center. Fires it on net. Great save, Baudouin! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. won the draw and they're on the attack picked up along the wall by Bouchard good stand up hit look at this they've got some bodies here on the attack the Ducks have it now laying the body quick feed to Silverberg oh just a great heads up play by Hyman at center ice now he grabs the puck Sends it over to Oates. And now he moves it to Kalorn. Shot! And he comes up with it. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Musa quickly over to Solani. Great poke check on the reach. Dumps it in. Anaheim's got the puck. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Drops it to the crease. Brings the iron. The Oilers bring another one off the post. So frustrating, James, in a tie game where they have the opportunity to go ahead. Listen, the goaltender's going to tell you they're in good position. They're missing that wide shot. Edmonton's in now. Drills him. Moves the puck to Yanmar. Pokes it away in his own end. That knocks him off the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Grabbed along the boards by Park. Edmonton's got it in the wrong zone. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Puts it on net. Turns that one away. Dishes it to Terry. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Here's the pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Nice feed from the right wing. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a chance to the middle, and that's stopped. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Hall. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Herman's best chances come when he's in motion. His make it snappy zone ability is when he's skating with his head up and takes his shot with momentum on his side, guys. Defenders will want to limit his opportunities for sure. Here's a blast! That was amazing! What a save by Waugh! Waugh has been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Hall. The Ducks have it now. <laughs> Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Grabs control of it at the point. Feeds the puck to Hyman. And he makes a save there. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Here in the later stages of this period, 
The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Conway's won the draw inside his own end. Cover, cover. Crisp's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Great reach with the poke check. Quick pass to Conway. Now over to Drysdale. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. Slides the puck across to Kane. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Shot! There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Here they come on the attack. Scores! And Hammers at home on the one team with authority. Ah, oh, well, we all knew that was coming. How does he have that much time and space? I mean, he is keyed up. He is locked and loaded for that delivery, and he makes no mistake, as he usually does. Paul James, who knew his teammates were looking to feed him. He was set up. He was chomping at the bit. Well, he got the delivery. And he converted on it. The Ducks pick up the all-important go-ahead goal late here in period number two. Well, you're always cutting periods into five-minute increments, and this is the one that they wanted to score in, James, because it creates momentum, momentum that they can carry forward to the intermission. Huge steal in his own end. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home, and we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Final frame is underway here. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Oilers haven't managed the puck in all through two periods of play, James. It's a reason that they're trailing in this game. Listen, they're on their heels. They've got to find a way to puck, possess, and generate some offense. McDavid's got it into offensive territory. And now he moves it quickly to Conway. All alone! Stops him with a block! Puck scooped up by McDavid. He got all of that hit. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Takes a shot. Off the crossbar! The order is trying to score! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Well, some players are just glue players. They make everyone around them better, and he is one of those, James. I mean, his ability to create and pass the puck is unbelievable. He knows where everyone is on the ice. He can manipulate coverage, and that pass is just a clear display of his skill. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets hit on the playoff scoring. Not talking about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. This is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Ducks needed that in a big way. They now have the lead here in this third period. Well, it's been a back and forth game. It's really been neck and neck. And although I felt like they dictated the pace in this third period, it's about continuing to press and really try to smother their opponent. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Hall. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Here. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. 
Great defensive play to come up with the puck. The Ducks have been... Oh, big hit on the play. And look at this. He's on his own pitch. Uh, he's not going to let this one down for a while, James. You know that he's going to get fast for a bit because he's in the laps of his teammates. I think he's okay. Just a slightly bruised ego. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Anaheim's looking to break out. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Yanmark's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight. Trying to create... Well, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Penalty coming up here. McLeod's called for tripping. He's off to the box. that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice, and you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Anaheim's got the puck behind the net. And that goes off a player in front. Taken along the wall by Silverberg. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. The Oilers played along the wing. Takes the puck. Quick feed to Niedermeyer. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. We got a whistle, a penalty coming up. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. What an opportunity here for the man advantage unit. It's a five on three with plenty of time to work. With all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more. So the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. How many times have we seen this before? Once he gets a little bit of room on his opponent, he knows how to protect and not allow them back in. This is a clinic in terms of puck protection, and he finds the back of the net. The Ducks are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look... Look at this! Two on one! Shot! Oh, what a play to block that shot! Looks to get the puck over to Ryan. Pass across to McLeod. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck. Paul's been putting on a passing clinic tonight, James. Eyes in the back of his head and just distributing it to the right place at the right time. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Big time hit on the play. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save in front. Was scored. And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Dreisaitl's got it along the boards. The Ducks gain possession. And he takes the pass. Anaheim's on the attack. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. The Ducks don't want to take their foot off the gas here in the third period, but they have a lot of padding with the lead that they've built. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Was going to hang on for a whistle.
The Ducks have continued to put lots of pucks on net, and they lead it here in the third. Anaheim's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Ross got the puck, and he's going to hang on. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. And they'll start with possession. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Slides it back to the blue line. Slides it quickly to Eckholm. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. The Ducks have it from their own end. Moves the puck across to Silverberg. Smart defensive play there. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Takes the feed. Uh -huh. Beautiful defensive effort. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. after winning the defensive zone faceoff. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Swing and a miss. Chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Anaheim's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Herman's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the wheel. Break away! And there's the save on the play! Slick feed. Takes it across the blue line. Rocks him. And he takes the feed. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Brown's so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. The Ducks are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Set the puck behind the net. From the left wing, takes the feed. And Ross got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Herman. Good hit on the play. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Chase right inside. Stopped by the goaltender. wing it into center and he's taken down the officials arm signaling for a penalty and there's the whistle stopping the play taking a penalty when you have this much of a lead not really that big of a deal this late in the game the oilers send their man advantage unit out once more well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Receives the pass. Here's a shot, and there's a save. Puck clear from the defensive end. Looks to pass it to Nugent Hopkins. Trying to get back on the attack now. Desperate to get it out of the zone. We got a whistle as the puck sails into the bench. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play.
Edmonton's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Oates gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. won the draw. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. And a successful clearing attempt. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Hyman's picking up steam. Fires it! Oh, and gets a piece of the puck to deny them there! Oh! Final seconds of this one and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Kane.